welcome in this video I'll show you how the object follow the curve path and on the curve path how we can change the speed of object as you can see here in the start speed is slow in the middle speed is high and at the end speed is again slow so let's make it how to do it I stop this delete this okay press shift a uh, go to curve path press tab go to edit mode select this press g move up press select press g and can move anywhere select press g move here select press g move here this you can do it select press g move here now if you want to add more press e you can make it extrude press e press e press e for example i make the big curve like this press e press e press e press e here yeah, the curve is ready press tab this is the curve now press shift a and make the uv sphere as scale it down make sure uv sphere at the center of axis by default when you make the new uv sphere it will go to the center of axis for example if it's not on the center of axis you need to press alt g any object you want to move on the center press alt g okay that was okay let's go uh, select object go to this physical properties uh, go to here object constraint properties go and click on the follow path follow path here is the target select the target of your curve click on curve first you need to select this click on pen it will show you the pen now you click on the curve okay the object move on the start of the curve now if you run the uh, okay now you need to click on animate path when you click on animate path now you run on the animation you see it's moving here okay now at the end it go away why uh, you can adjust this like this because now my number of frames are 250 here and is 250 not the 100 uh, I select the curve go to the object data properties now here you set the frame 250 now it will complete this curve in 250 frames if I run now you can see and at 0 it will go again at the start point of the curve so the number of frame here and the number of frame here if the equal then it will move like this. if it's not equal then as you see before it will go away so now how to set the speed now the speed is constant you can see okay I go here select the object and uh, go here like uh, yes here you need to click here here is the object constant properties uh, so here you need to do like uh, here is the offset so for example I select the object click on offset here right side it will set the keyframe here now I move on the, for example frame 60 and I change the offset in negative value up to here and again set the frame now I move to 250 and set the frame offset to 0 enter and click here now you will run the animation in the start it will move quick and at the end it will move slow sorry in the start yes in the start it move quick at the end it will move slow so here you can set the different keyframe where you want to make it quick here you can see in the start is quick at the end is slow So that was all about this. Thanks for watching.